appreciate you for pausing your life to play this video. Hey, look, so um, I haven't been blind all my life. I've been visually impaired all my life. So I've been fortunate enough to see some things, not all things. But on my journey of becoming blind, I have taken archery lessons and self-defense classes. Uh, my my choice of self-defense that I took was old school. I took boxing, you know. Um, uh, MMA wasn't really popular like it is now. You know, I didn't want to take, I didn't want to do no karate. I didn't want, you know what I mean? So I took boxing. And with with who I trained with, my, my boxing trainer, he was blind. He was totally blind. He wasn't always blind, but he, when I met him, he was totally blind. So he trained me as if I was already blind. So he trained me to use my ears instead of my eyes. Three rules when it comes to boxing. You can't be afraid to get hit. You should never fight while angry. And eyes does not equal victory. This is what my boxing trainer taught me. The reason why I'm discussing this is because I keep a pair of boxing gloves. You know, uh, I wasn't, I was a what y'all would call a lame, a squirrel, uh, a nerd, uh, outcast. I was one of them type of guys growing up. I used to get bullied. I, you know, I'm an advocate for blindness and I'm an advocate for bullying. You know, so... Um, I used to get bullied a lot, and it is what it is. I ain't going to go into that story. Uh, <clears throat> long story short, I didn't got cold. You know, I, I wasn't as, I was not nearly as cold as I, as I am now when I was a kid in my teenage years. You know, in my teenage years, I start getting familiar with my hands because of my homeboys and stuff like that, you know, in, in my little circles. But as far as knowing that I got I, I I got it behind this little skinny frame that people uh you you know what I mean that people talk down on you know uh, a buck 55 soaking wet I tell anybody a buck 55 soaking wet but I'm a certified tooth chipper what that means is it's certified it's I'm a certified tooth chipper it is what it is you know what I mean? I'm I'm not an advocate for violence. I don't I don't promote violence. You know what I mean? I don't put no type of violence out there. <clears throat> if it was up to me, I would I wouldn't fight or I wouldn't have to be having this video like this, but I don't go I'm not a rowdy type of individual. I don't go out there. I'm not in those type of rowdy crowds. You know, I don't go club and you know, I don't associate with messy circles and stuff like that. So, last time I've been into a fight, I was probably 19, 20, 21, one of those three ages. And that was my last, so close to 15 years was my last time I've been into a fight. And that was before my, my boxing training. That was before, my last fight was before I met my boxing coach. So, ever since I have became certified and all of this, I haven't gotten into no type of altercations because I honestly feel like if my, my I, I would talk myself out of a fight before I try to fight. You know, uh, I'm certified to, to uh, carry. So my, my level of thinking is when it comes to altercations, first I'm going to talk my way, try to talk my way out of it. If I can't talk my way out of it, then I'll be resort to using my hands. If if my hands, if, if he's some type of can't take a L or all extra, want to want to jump a dude and all of this, then I resort to my pistol. But I, I'm not the type, and I've never been the type to have my gun be my first option. If I'm in an altercation and I know you packing and I know I'm packing, I'm gonna put the option on the table first. Say, look, we can do this old school and go fist to cuffs, jaw to jaw, line it up. We can get in the blender, meet up in the paint or, or the concrete or the grass, wherever you want, wherever you feel comfortable. 
or we can get into some wild wild west stuff and we can take we back to back and and take 11 paces and then shoot it out however you want to do it i'm down but a pistol is my last option i'm trying to wrap this up the reason why i'm discussing this is because my cousin he commented on one of my previous videos that i said i say you can't beat me until you beat me. So my cousin kind of had a problem with that. And his problem is because you he's he he feel like I talk so big and bad. Cuz you talk so it's not big and bad. It's it's not big and bad. It's not cocky. It's confidence. It's a difference. It's I'm confident in my skills. I know what I'm capable of. My cousin, for some reason, because he he's been there. Through me uh, since we was little grasshoppers all the way up till now. So he seen me at my best vision, which was my youngest, till now, which is my worst vision. You know, and then he seen the type of, you know, wimpy kid I was as a kid. So he really haven't seen me in no real altercation besides us as kids, you know. Um, but he like, he like, cuz, a nigga can just sneak you from the side and you won't be able to see it coming. I'm like, fam, first of all, I wouldn't put myself in a scenario where I feel uncomfortable to the point where I got to look over my shoulder. As a blind person, that's not what I, that's not the type of situation I'm putting myself in from Jump Street. I'm not finna put myself in in an unfamiliar circle, you know what I mean, without nobody there to have my back. I was explaining that to him. He said, well, he said, cuz, he said, nigga, he said, I can just, since I know your situation, I can just throw my phone at you and then... When you when you trying to figure out what just happened, I can come through because you're so little. I can come through, pick you up, and body slam you, and then it's a wrap from there. I say, fam, okay, so we getting on this. You know what I mean? Uh, for if for some reason me and somebody comes to an altercation that I know that I'm usually feeling comfortable because I don't fight my relatives, I don't fight my friends, I don't fight my kin folks. I'm not that type to fight and smoke it over again now. We don't do that type of stuff. You know what I mean? It's less fights as possible in my circle. But, uh, so I say, because if that does happen, I say, with that phone hit, you better knock me out because you only get one, bro. You know what I mean? He say, cuz, but you can't see. I say, fam, I say, you don't need eyes to know how to fight. That's what this whole video is. You don't need eyes to know how to fight. My cousin, he can't believe that, you know? He, he he respects my hustle. He respects my the way that I walk and, and my truth that I stand in. But he just can't, he honestly can't believe that I would rather fight a dude than to shoot a dude first. He say, cuz, you don't have time to be fighting nobody, cuz. He say, cuz, if you certify, you supposed to shoot your gun. I say, why? Because I'm blind? I say, no, bro, a gun is for an emergency, fam. If it's two or three dudes and... And I can't handle them, then I'm going to up the chrome. But other than that, bro, it's straight fist to fist. And I haven't had the opportunity to feel my knuckles on another person's face since I became certified. That's all I'm saying. And I have one pair of boxing gloves. The reason why I only have one pair of boxing gloves because I'm a firm believer in the universe. And the universe will make anything happen if you want it, if you honestly believe. So the reason why I have one pair of boxing gloves is because, first of all, I'm tired of hearing, oh, if I whoop a blind dude, you know, I lose. And if a blind dude whoop me, I lose. It's a lose-lose. You're totally right. But if you're going to talk stuff, bro, like you, you can't believe a blind person can have hands, if you have gloves... It's meant for us to box. Just know that for my partners that's going to watch this video. I have one pair of gloves, and I take them when I travel. I take my gloves, and I take my belt when I travel. When I take this belt, it brings out the kid and everybody. I, I show my grandpa the belt, you know what I mean? And he didn't turn into a kid behind it. But that belt bring out the kid and everybody. So when I travel, I take my belt, and I take my gloves. And the reason why I take my gloves is because I'm going to come across somebody else with just one pair of gloves, and it was meant for us to box. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, in a nutshell, let me wrap this up. You don't need vision to be able to protect yourself when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. I know it's, 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 a lot, it's many different blind 
um, professionals like us, samurai, uh, you know, samurais or karate experts, or for for my example, my boxing my my boxing uh, trainer, he was blind and he was at the top of his profession, you know. So you don't need vision to know how to get out here and put somebody in check. And the reason why I'm doing this video is strictly for my cousin, you know. Shout out to to uh, to G Lo up there in the mid up there in Michigan, you know what I mean? So, cuz when you see this, I want you to show your circle, show your partners, let your partners know. And if your partners got a problem with it, cuz you heard what I said about the gloves, I'll be coming to Michigan sometime soon. It's not no threat or nothing like that, you know, it's all in good love. But for people that don't believe that it's, it's possible for you to have quote unquote hands as a blind person. If you don't believe, if you don't believe it's possible for a blind person to be skilled at fisticuffs, holla at me. That's all I'm saying. Holla at me. I appreciate you for pausing your life to play this video. Hey, share, comment, please comment. Hey, subscribe. I mean, we have probably like 73 subscribers. I don't know when I get to 100. Depending on who the 100 subscriber is and when we get to 100 subscribers, man, I want to do something. I don't know what I want to do. You know what I mean? I, I ain't balling off the train. I ain't balling out, uh, you know, out of control and stuff like that. So it ain't like I can give out a $100 gift card or a $100 reward or something like that. Now, it ain't that type of party. I need the $100 reward. When I get to 100 subscribers, somebody sent me $100. How about that? <laughs> I appreciate you for pausing your life to play this video. Till next time, keep it positive, keep it forward, keep it safe.